Hello everyone, and in this 2015 Corolla, we have a wet driver side floor mats. I noticed that whenever there's rain, um, this area gets wet, and in the morning uh, you get this smell, strange smell. It's not that pleasant. So I went to online and I found out a lot of people saying that you might have a heater car leaking or the weather stripping on the uh, windshield is bad so i went ahead and checked all that but uh, everything seems to be intact however after removing the floor mat i found out that there is a hole and um, it is covered with a small plastic um, sorry not plastic rubber seal and uh, that seal is not um, sealing well so what I'm gonna have, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna remove um, these uh, trim pieces over here it's really easy and I'm gonna go and use a flex tape over here I already used this before and it worked really well it is um, uh, waterproof and I'm gonna just uh, measure uh, that hole and cut it I think um, this should fit and it's really cheap so let's go ahead and do that to show you that it is actually really wet so I'm gonna just rub this just like this and you can see it is soaking wet and uh, that needs to be fixed so yeah let's go ahead and do that okay so to start removing the trim piece there is a side over here and a side over here that you have to pull into just be a little bit careful go slowly so you don't damage the tabs all around the trim so i'm gonna go ahead and start from this side go really careful this one from this side is really really tricky so you have to be patient with it even though these pieces might be cheap online but of course you don't want to go through that I'm really struggling with this one I'm gonna just show it to you real quick so this piece over here is really tricky and can't seem to find an easier way to do it. I'm gonna just keep trying with it and then we'll continue. Okay, so I went ahead and successfully pulled it. As you can see, this is the stubborn tab. I mean the hole and this is the tab. So what I did was, as you can see, it's like a bit curved it's not perfectly um, vertical so what you have to pull up at an angle so you have to pull up like this way so you have to um, tilt it like that and then pull up but always be careful because uh, you don't want to break uh, all these tabs and especially these ones so I'm gonna just set this aside and after that um, you're gonna find a screw I'm not sure if you can see it but it is like right over here as you can see mine just twists my hand so I'm gonna just unscrew it my hand as you can see and um, I'm not sure about yours, maybe it is screwed on well or better. So that's that. We're going to leave it here. And then we are going to pull onto this piece over here. And we're gonna start removing it from the side, as you can see. And then we have this tab that's holding, and I'm gonna just go from 
here. Here we are. This is um, the tab. Even it sounds loud, but it is not that um, damaging to the tabs. It goes over here. And uh, be careful not to um, uh, damage these wires, of course. And here's the thing with water getting into your cabin. You see this material over here? Um, that is, it's like spongy and it absorbs water, so it cannot dry by itself real easy. And this basically just removes, oh, actually, you have to remove these two. There you go, you just pull it right over there. And then, as you can see, there is a carpet hole. Let me try to show you. As you can see, this is the hole that goes into the uh, plastic. So, we only need to do this one. And then, we are going to gain access to the format. So, we'll just pull it from here. Here's the drain. So, as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove it. It's really, it smells bad over here. It's not bad, bad, but it's just so unpleasant and wet. As you can see, look at my hand. Um, there's actually a hole into in this rubber. I'll just push it down and I'm gonna show it to you. So here's the rubber piece that um, is the culprit for getting water into our driver's side. And I really don't know what happened over here because it really look this hole really looks strange. And I don't think it comes up comes from the factory like this I haven't looked online for uh, such a piece but I really need to get it fixed uh, quickly so I'm gonna just use our uh, just use our flex tape and hopefully this piece will be uh, enough to fix it I'm not I'm I'm thinking whether to uh, put that piece over here and then add this one on top or underneath um, so I'm gonna see what what best fit it so we'll see but before doing that I have to um, dry this really really well I'm gonna try my best um, so the only the, the the way I did it before I actually uh, dried this before, but I uh, didn't have time to put the flex tape. The only uh, thing I did is I used um, these really good um, towels. You can find them at your local auto parts store, and you basically um, put these under it and. With both hand, you squish the uh, floor mat um, to basically dry it out. I'm not sure, maybe I damaged this a little bit, but it's not a big deal. So yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of towels, and um, after that, when you get it real, real dry, you're gonna just um, use your uh, AC and just put it uh, to uh, blow on the lowest level and uh let it <coughs> and let it uh let it do its thing maybe an hour or so you can even drive uh but we'll see it's uh it's gonna take some time but it is definitely worth it the winter is coming so we really need to fix this and then of course i have to vacuum this all right, so 
Let's go do that. So I'm gonna show you what I'm actually doing. Um, so I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get one. Take it and then come over here. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm not damaging the wiring while taking out the floor mat. So especially this one over here, it's like a thick spongy material. And I'm gonna just squeeze it with one hand and let it, let the towel absorb it. And as you can see, oh my God, it's actually dripping. Wow. This is really, really bad, ouch. So I'm actually squishing it also with my hands and I'm just letting it uh, drain over there. And as you can see, this is all wet. I'm just leave it over here. I'm gonna throw it in the recycling bin. I'm gonna show you the part that it's all um, wet over there. Look at all that gunk. Oh my god, this is really messed up. So yeah, I'm gonna just keep on doing that all around the format and then uh, I'm gonna use the air conditioning and uh, let's see. So I found out that um, actually uh, squeezing the floor mat with your hands like this and then letting it drip and then wiping it out works better than just squeezing it with this on your hand underneath it. So yeah, we're just gonna keep doing that and this is a tiring, tiring um, process, but it is really uh, necessary and we have to get rid of this problem. So just keep doing that. Oh, another good idea is to, you see the trim piece that we uh, took from there? It's better to um, put it underneath the floor mat while drying it. So um, after I squeeze it with my hands, uh, the water drips down and then after I go grab a towel or even uh, getting it e even like getting it ready in my other hand I found out that the floor mat falls and then absorbs absorbs back the water so I'm gonna just uh, slide this under it so it keeps it up and not uh, absorbing the water again so uh, yeah that's a mini tip that's useful for this so after drying out the floor mat pretty good, um, I'm thinking about whether to put the flex tape on top or uh, putting it at the bottom. So the thing with putting it on top, um, the sticky part, uh, the sticky part will be facing the ground and then um, with time it's gonna wear out like the adhesion will wear out so yeah so i'm talking about putting it like this way this is the adhesive part and putting it this way um will make the adhesive part uh adhere against uh the floor mat and then in the future if you're you're gonna have problem removing it you know, probably gonna tear um, the inside of material, you know, that spongy stuff. But I'm thinking that um, this material is uh, kind of like uh, peels off, like, uh, like it's gonna look uh, like a lint uh, sticked up to, uh, stuck up to the adhesive part. I might go with that. And another thing to keep in mind is uh, you have to get underneath of the car uh, really, really clean for better adhesion. So I have this uh, uh, cleaner and it's basically alcohol. And um, I'm gonna try to spray this underneath 
and uh, wipe it with uh, my towels. Uh, get it real clean and just uh, stick it uh, as much as I can. You know, stick it well. And um, I don't think I'm gonna put the other piece I'm gonna show you. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put this piece again because um, it's basically, uh, it's not even flush with the uh, surface, uh, you know, and uh, it's basically useless. I really don't know what happened over here because it looks like this somebody made this hole. It doesn't look factory. And uh, yeah, um, if you want to get another one like this, I think you can find it online, but uh, I'm gonna go with the faster solution of the flex tape. So yeah. Okay, so right now I'm gonna put the flex tape on and um, I put the trim piece over here basically to hold uh, the floor mat up um, so I, uh, I can easily uh, clean the surface underneath and uh, stick this uh, really good using uh, both hands. Uh, and again, I'm gonna spray this underneath uh, you can basically uh, see through the hole, so you can't really miss it. And, uh, yeah, hopefully this will work out pretty good. So make sure you go all around, like past the hole, because the... The tape that you're going to put on is going to be bigger than the hole itself. So make sure you get all that gunk. All that gunk and dirt out of the way. And remember as you spray uh, watch out, don't uh, spray um, away from the the towel because uh, there are connectors over there. You don't wanna, uh, you don't wanna get them wet. Okay, got it, finally. Okay, so this is how it looks after putting the flex tape. What I'm gonna do also, I'm gonna put another piece of the flex tape, you know, facing this way so it won't adhere to uh, the sponge or whatever this material is. Uh, it won't damage it uh, in case we have to remove it uh, in the future. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna show you how uh, the final look will turn out. Okay, so after putting the second layer of the flex tape, that's how it looks. It's not um, the cleanest look. I can get it to look really, really clean, but uh, it's definitely a solution for our leaking problem. That's what matters. Uh, it's not, you know, the surface is not completely flush. So and I'm going to try to show you how it looks. Um, from under, I'm not sure with the lighting, but I'll just slide my phone. There it is. 
and yeah so I'm gonna just put everything back the way it was and vacuum this gunk and put my AC on to further dry it so yeah thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it uh, give this video a like uh, if you find it useful and I hope uh, uh, whatever problem you're having with your car will be solved soon so yeah see you in the next one thanks